Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the channel. Let's play some Stardew Valley. Today we're going to be playing Stardew Valley with uh, Quagrasol, one of my buddies from YouTube, the Discord. Say hello. What's up, Chewy? This is Quagrasol. Hey, hey. So, for those of you who are new to uh, Stardew Valley, I do play video games other than EU4, so... <laughs> Every once in a while, at least. Yeah. When I'm allowed to, and I can break the chain, the yoke that is the EU4 grind. I think the volume it's is fun, though. loud on my end for the recording. Yeah, Stardew Valley always has a problem with the volume at the beginning. Okay, let's see. It won't let you save it. It's annoying. We'll get it figured out. Scheisse. There we go. Alright, I think that's a bit better. Oh. <laughs> What's our plans here? Uh, wing it as far I as like I know. Get, I like to get a chest on the first day going. I think that's a good call, yeah. I like to waste a lot of energy by... Hey! Give me that. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Let's scythe out a bunch of this stuff. I guess we might as well yeah. clean up clean up the uh, starting area, right? <clears throat> Definitely. And for those of you that might be interested, we did do the shared money because we're going to try to accomplish things a little quicker. Yes, teamwork makes the dream work and all that. But we don't intend to, like, try to min-max and get everything done. We're just trying to have a fun time. Yeah, I play Stardew like I do EU4. <laughs> Impulsive. And, and I'm going to try to play it like <laughs> you play EU4. <laughs> Impulsive and just do stuff and then have people tell me in the comments that I'm an idiot i mean i don't yeah, know if i you get just as many people saying oh this is great other people take too long yeah i suppose that yeah that's that's a that's fair yeah anyways i hope you guys all like my uh my mullet i like quagger soul's beak yeah. yeah i figured out how to make a duck out of a character creator <laughs> i think it's awesome what is this five let's let's at least try to make it look somewhat pretty we did a yeah i i just had two uh extra seeds, so that's why I went over there. Where we do don't you have, have sprinklers early on, so there's no reason to try to do a specific pattern until we get the nicer sprinklers. Oh, yes, like the pattern that you drew that I thought was a swastika. Yeah, I was trying to do, for those of you who have played this game before, the, the single uh, tier, the first tier of sprinklers, only water, like say this rock was the sprinkler, a water on all four, like a, like a oh, plus sign. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it just makes a plus yeah. sign. So yes. if you make a pattern where they're all pushed together and you do it wrong, it kind of resembles a swastika, which is not something we we want. Not advertiser friendly. Yeah, or it's not something I want to be associated with, let alone <laughs> advertisers. I don't care about that. I, I have all a right. little bit of both, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The, uh, the day is only half done, and I'm already running low on energy. Yeah, I have like a, a third left. So, what is our day one like? What do you do day one generally? Because I, I play played... off, plant the parsnips, and then forage. That's basically all you're gonna get done in the first day. All right, cool. You well, let's. A, you don't have a, a fishing rod. There's no. You can't get into the mines. A lot of the cool stuff hasn't been unlocked yet. Okay, so I'm going. Oh man, I had my uh, my hotkey change so I could open up my menu with. There we go. Alt. Yeah. Uh, go. With yeah. tab. tab the... Yeah, I like tab. tab. The, uh, switching the toolbars on this. Yeah, I switched it so to we, alt. We only, we only have the first right now because we don't have backpacks yet. So I'm just gonna throw my random. Mix seeds over here. Sure. Oh, are those? What are those? Potatoes? Uh, I think they might be, yeah. A couple of spuds. So let's split up. So you're going to go town. I'll go south to the center snap for us. Sounds good, yeah. I like that call. I got myself a leek. Nice. Those are the best food in the beginning. So for you guys who might have noticed, we are doing the Four Corners Farm. Yes. It is... Set, it's new in this update, and it's uh, set up for multiplayer. It's got some foraging places. It's got a little quarry. All kinds of good stuff. 
technically it is a little bit smaller than the original farm, as in areas that you can farm late game, but that won't matter for a while. Oh, I just got some rice shoots. That's gonna give us a bonus in the beginning. And yeah. an artifact on the first day. Look at that crap. Artifact? Oh, like for yeah. the for the, the museum. Museum, okay. And a geode. This is, I was telling you, I, I didn't show it on camera, but the uh, the TV said it's a good humor day, so. Oh, right, yep, you did say that. coming up roses here. Oh, who is this? Is this, I uh, can't remember these names. Haley. Oh, yeah. She's a bimbo. She gets a little better through her story. Towards the end, she's, she's nicer. Oh, hey, I got a Joja Cola out of her garbage. There's Leah, nice. that's my bae. She's the one that I'm about to marry in my single player campaign. Well, I called dibs on this one. Okay, no, well, I'm just kidding. I'm a duck, so it doesn't. Really <laughs> I'm thinking about going for Probus. You can marry, or you don't really marry him, you invite him to live at your house. Uh, in the same way that you marry other characters, you can do that with Probus now. The little dwarf thing that lives in the sewers. Oh, that's really weird. Yeah, it kind of is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna my, zoom out. My ambient volume was so loud. I was at the beach getting deafened. Oh yeah, from the, from the so, waves. So, so what are these these shrines? These colored shrines are those for teleporting? Is that what they're for? Yeah. Later in the game, I can't see yours, but I assume you're talking about the little one at the beach. Yeah, the top, exactly, the blue guy. Yeah, later in the later in the game, if you have a warp totem to the beach, or if you get a a beach obelisk. It'll take you to that place. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's one for the desert now too, which is new in this update. And there's one for the well by the lake near the mines, but that's okay. not new for this update. That's been in the well, game. I remember the the mine cart is what I was is what I'm used yes. to using. The mine carts are great for getting to Gunther's or the mines. Exactly. Yep. So um, I have I got a few things. I got some clay. I got two Joja Colas. I got yeah, three you got daffodils. Game than me. Mixed They're seeds. They're not a single spring onions. I am pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I got a um, a field snack as well. Oh, out of the trash? Yeah. Yep. Trash was good today. That that good humor was the reason why, probably. For well, sure. Well, I at least have four dandelions. Okay, so we have all of the forging that we're gonna need then, right? Yeah. I'm just running up by the mines real quick to see if we At can. Least for the. Yeah, uh, you can't. Well, you can. You can get some of that area, but not a lot of it. Yeah. There's no. Uh, no worms or anything. I'm sure I'll miss several. I've had people point out when I miss a bunch. Oh, definitely. They are uh, easy to miss, especially early on when so... you haven't cleared a lot of the crap. I know I told you this before, but back when I started my YouTube channel, my very first series that I ever did was uh, Stardew Valley. Nice. So if we cut down some wood, will it still be here in the morning if I don't pick it up? I think so. I think it oh, it takes a few days for it to despawn. Is there a reason why you would want to leave it? Uh, mostly just curious, but yeah. <laughs> sure. So let's make a second crate for our collectibles. Will do. I have enough wood for it if you don't. Oops. I can do it, no problem. And a nice little burp there, that was nice. Alright, now I planted the, uh, the rice down here. For anybody who's new to this update, rice is a new... Um, it's a new thing you can plant that actually waters itself as long as you keep it near a source of water. You want to put the geode over there as well? That'll, that'll yeah, be that sounds good. I'll take, I'll take care of that. And uh, the artifact. This is a Best trick that I like to do as well, is put one uh, chest that we just keep the things that we're going to take to the community center or... So you can just grab them all real kind of quick. Thing. Yeah. And the other chest is like our work chest. Yeah, I was I gonna say that's like our and coal on the first day, which is really nice. Oh, I I'm not going to sleep in your house. I mean, you can if you want. I'll snuggle you. <laughs> I'm. A, I can be an early pet before you get your dog or cat. <laughs> you can sleep in front of the fireplace. There you go. 
I, well, I would, but you act, I actually have to be in a bed. Oh. You, you gotta tuck back in. There you well, go. Well, we can role play. Yeah. Let's see what's going on on the TV. Rain. Good stuff. Tomorrow. Nice. I don't know. No Neutral day. All right. I'm talking to Clint. You can't see it, but I'm talking to Clint outside your house because <laughs> I got uh, copper yesterday. He's going to tell me how to make a furnace. Okay. Extra blueprint lying around. Here you go. That's something you can't unlock on a farm that doesn't have the quarry until the mine actually opens. I hope my audio levels are good. I feel like it's jumping around a lot from the various sounds. Yeah, the, the, the music can get a little aggressive in this game. Such a beautiful soundtrack, though. I can't even I be upset. I love the music, but yeah. Oh, Pierre wants us to know that we should buy pack, backpacks from him. Yeah, for sure. And we, Willie sure we says he's got fishing rods for us at the beach. All right. I have a really bad tendency of opening up my mail and then not actually reading it. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a degenerate water. and hit the stumps. I watered most of it already. Yep, I'm just finishing off for you. See the, the rice that's already watered? Very cool. Now, I would like to get some skills today, specifically foraging and maybe mining. I've been hitting quite a number of rocks. I got level one fishing. Fishing? Or not fishing, for mean, foraging, I mean. Foraging? Yeah, you did a, a lot better on foraging than I did yesterday. Can you get mining levels from hitting these rocks? Yep. Interesting. You can, you can have the first... I think if you focus it, you can have the first two or three levels done by the time the mine opens. But you'd have to use all of your energy. That sounds like try hard to me. Yeah. We're trying to avoid that. No try hard for me. I'm a filthy casual, you see. <laughs> As I swing and miss multiple times over and over again. Hey, I got a geode. Feels nice. good, man. Thank you for reminding me to turn on hit locations. Is that a thing? Yeah, it's in the settings. Oh, uh, yes, I remember that actually. That red box. Where, I always where forget it that? until like the fourth day or something like that. What's First said? time I kill something I don't want to kill with my hoe or something like that. Mm hmm. Um. Where is that at? Where is it at? Do you know? Roughly? Uh, under options, uh, it's the fourth thing down and it should be unchecked by default. Always show tool hit. There we go. What about this crafting information thing? I'm curious what that's all about as well. That adds, um, show advanced crafting information. So when you open your crafting thing, if you look at, say, try to make a stone sign, don't do it, but just hover over it. It'll show you that I currently have 35 stone in my inventory. It's only going to take 25 to make the sign. Okay. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to head to the beach because I want a... Well, actually, I need to clean out the inventory. I'll be right behind you. We can pick up some parsnips, too, right, from uh, Pierre? Or it's... Yeah, it's Tuesday. Yeah. It's Might Tuesday. as well. I also made us a little bit of... There you go. Decorations. Hey, man, we got to... better at doing that. Got to make it look pretty here. Hey, I got a worm. It's uh, only clay. Damn it. <laughs> oh, wait. I'm... Messing up. There's a there's an artifact I want to take to Gunther. The first artifact gives you a $250 bonus, so after that I'll probably wait until we have a bunch to take, or like a good humor day when I'm gonna take geodes to Clint. Yeah, okay. I like, I like 250 bucks. Hey, and what who doesn't? Is are you, if you're heading to Pierre's, I'll go to Gunther's. I was going to head over to the, uh... The beach or, first. Yeah, we're, I think we're going both to the beach Do first. you want me to grab the geodes? No, it's not a good humor day, so... Oh, we'll yes. Wait. Okay, yeah, good call. But it's also, we should be spending money on making money right now. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll go grab those. I'm... I can take a field snack if I need to. Yeah. Hey. Or do you want me to... 
Oh yeah, uh, let me sell this, uh, get this artifact to the museum so you get an extra 250 bucks. Well, I'm gonna I'm get a there. couple of other things as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, we want a bunch of different stuff. Do we want tulips? Um, we don't really need them. Okay. But I like to have a couple of everything in case somebody asks for it. Right. That's just up to you. Mm -hmm. No, you, that's cool. Uh, that's just, cool. Just a second, and you will have another two fifty. All right. Do you want me to just spend the rest on parsnips? Yeah, definitely. They're the best thing early on to just uh, get some experience. Uh, based. Also, we need the five gold starred ones for the community center. That's going to take us a while to grind too. Mm. So, how do you get better? How, like, what? How do you increase your chances of getting high level or high tiered whatever stuff? Well, there's two ways. There's your farming level. So your farming skill, as you level up, your I guess the justification is you can pick better crops or something like that. Okay. Um, but also there's different tiers of fertilizer you can eventually use. Okay. That give you higher tiered stuff when you pick the crops. <clears throat> oh, when I'm fishing, my, my, my duck character looks like he's got his brow furled. He looks all mean. <laughs> Well, not mean, but, you know. Serious? Still determined. Yeah, he's yeah, serious. I like that. Dude, I love my mullet. I'm really glad I picked this character. That's great. I mean, you're a duck. I think you got me beat. Yeah, they, the idea came to me on your Discord because uh, one of the guys couldn't pronounce my name and was, like, calling me Quack. I was like, oh, okay. Quack. That'll hey. be the name of this duck. Own it. Own it. Yeah. Quagersol is a made-up name. I understand it. Most people wouldn't know how to say it. Oh, I know. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people in the Discord have a hard time saying, you're like, I'm sorry, man, I just can't pronounce that. I'm like, really? I don't even think it's that tough, but I suppose. Well, yeah, we're from uh, somewhat similar areas of the U.S., so our accents are a little different, but they're very similar, so... The way we talk, it's pr it's probably not hard for you because it's not hard for me. I suppose so. I'm from the I nicer have... part, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is ugly. All right, I'm gonna have to eat one of those snacks. Oh yeah, don't worry about eating whatever you need to eat right now. We can replace it. I just want to make sure I can get some fishing done today. I have the sardine we need for the community center, which is awesome. I like to get as many of those things out of the way as possible. Ah, oh, there's bubbles, but I can't reach them. Mm, right. Oh no, I think it counted. Where are you at? Um, I'm just leaving the, the farm. Oh, did you spend the rest of your energy hoeing? Yeah, I should have helped. I, I hoed it up and watered it. We're cool. No worries, man. That's me, Farmer Chewy, dude. That's what I do. I was born to do this. So, so are we going to try to focus um, who gets the, like... I'm fine with diversifying, yeah, with, with sort of uh, specializing. Yeah, if, if you, uh, say you pick all of the farm stuff and you'll get farming real quick so we can unlock things quicker. Mm -hmm. So whichever. I didn't I didn't get a fishing rod. Do I need to talk to him? You didn't get a fishing rod? No. Oh, you did you came too late in the day. Ah, uh, before, before. Damn. Okay, yep. I guess I knew that. Yep, it literally says that under my journal. Okay. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Might as well go back to the farm then. Uh, if you really want to fish today, I can give you my rod. Yeah, it's okay. I hardly have any stamina left. Yeah, it, and it's like seven or eight. I'll just run around um, and do some foraging. There you go. I'll head back to the farm and do some more cleaning, because I've got plenty of stamina left, but no inventory space. Sounds good to me. I like this, being able to tag team and get more stuff done. I do. I feel like we're being very productive as a team. At least relative to the, where we would be as as a single player. I know there's some people who would bust. This looks nice. 
Does it? Yeah. You got you've got two of everything kind of set down here as an offset. And mm. then we've got our main fields already. This is better a, than I'm usually at at the beginning of I the game. I got a bunch of spring onions. Oops, I forgot to. Yo, you I did? just good. I just found like 15 or something. There's so many. Yeah, that uh that makes 14. sense because there was none yesterday. Nutty. You're going to have horrible breath. The one that gets yeah, they're great for the mine though. On the first, on the first time we can go down in the mine. Really? Should I? They're, yeah, they're they're crap for selling. Oh, uh, okay, okay. That's what I was gonna say. Should I sell them? So I found a dandelion. Nice. I've Do got we need that? Two or three. Oh, yeah, okay. we need one for the uh, community bundle, and then mm -hmm. the rest of the forgeables we can keep to make wild seeds. Wild seeds. Yeah, that you can plant those and then it makes a forgeable instead oh, of a yeah. vegetable. Mm -hmm. They're they're actually really good because they give you experience and then you can then sell them again just with time. Good stuff. So we'll have to think about how we want to set up the farm as far as. Like, I like to have a, a tree farm area. Once we clear it, I'll replant it with trees. Yeah. I saw, I was watching one of your episodes, and I saw, were you playing on this same map? I I uh, started on the regular map, but about fall, I think it was, I was getting envious of the Four Corners map, so I used the save file editor to change my map. I was going to say, because I, I thought that you had your um, your trees down here. I did, yeah, right about where we are. Yep. Uh, I don't know if that's how we want to do it, but it, it, it's working out. Those were going to be my tapper trees, though. Uh, eventually, I want to do, like, I'm I'm running out of wood in that campaign, and I was a doofus, and it's winter, and I didn't plant a bunch of trees in fall, so there's not uh -huh. a lot of wood on the map. A doofus, you say. <laughs> All right, cool. Well... I'm gonna chop down a few more trees. And I'm just gonna clean up the stumps, I don't care. Dude, is does yeah. it is that still a thing where you can chop down trees and have the, the stump be tapped still? Uh, I don't think so. Really? I know with I know with the mushroom tree. Am I gonna pass uh, out how many how many does it take to swing it? Your axe? Two. Alright, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I did my best. Every once in a while you can get a one, but I wouldn't... No, not worth. Yeah, not worth risking. I don't want to lose 20, 20 gold. It's going to rain tomorrow, so at least we won't be using our energy for that. So that's nice. Can I... Oh, no! Yeah, definitely. Oh! Okay, so apparently you, you can that? apparently you can go to zero and you're good. Oh, yeah, you can go to zero, but not below. I was trying to it's pick midnight. up my... Uh, I'm gonna jump in bed. So what do we not have yet. How does it work with sleep? Is it if you're past one, you're tired the next day? I think that's exactly what it is. You're and tired. Then two, and you pass two out. Two o'clock is when you pass out. Okay. And if you if you make friends with Linus, high enough, he'll, he'll, he'll rescue you. Instead, yeah, instead of uh, the Jojo Mart taking all your crap. 37 kill. I sold two fish to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I saw that. That's funny. So, do we want to go another day, or what are you thinking? How long do you want the episode to be? Uh, I think we're probably okay to call it here. Two days is probably a good, yeah. good amount. So. That's what I've been doing on mine. Although mine are taking quite a bit longer for a day. I hear you. All right, guys. Well, cool. Don't forget to check out Quagersaw. I'm going to link his channel in the description. And uh, leave a like if you're enjoying. Subscribe if you have not already. And if you want to check out the uh, Discord so, or support my channel on Patreon, links are in the description as well. And uh, with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I will catch you guys later. Special thanks to Bloodbound92, Yudaldo, Jaron Clampett, CWG Dutch Terror, Valentel, Corbett Gaming, Palmer, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal 7, Uncle Donald, Lambda Driver, Damien Hartvig. You guys rock. I appreciate you. Don't forget to subscribe. Catch you guys later.